Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? Did you guys know that the gold medals at the Olympic Games are actually made out of 92.5% silver? The estimated value of a gold medal during the 2012 Summer Olympics is $620, huh? So in the last video, I asked you guys to help me stop bullying by putting hashtag stop bullying. So this is what you guys said. Today's comment question of the day is what's your wish? Okay, so let's talk about this Chinese guy who was involved in a work accident. He lost his right hand in a machine and cut it right off. A co-worker saw what happened, grabbed his hand, grabbed him and took him to the hospital. When they got to the hospital, they told him that they're not able to attach his hand to his arm. And then they suggested that doctors at a bigger regional hospital will, might be able to do it for you. So seven hours after the accident, he finally arrived in this other hospital. So doctors told him that they're actually able to attach his hand, but they're not able to do it right away. So to stop his hand from dying, they had to attach it to his body somehow. So they attached it right to his ankles. Wow, is this real life right now? That is, uh, that is just so damn weird. I guess this guy can't play soccer because it will always be handball. What, is it? Is it a bad time to tell a joke? But you know what, I guess you have to do what you have to do. It's either look stupid or lose a hand. Surgeons said they had to take care of his arm before they could actually attach the hand to it. So after a month went by, he recovered enough to undergo the reattachment surgery. He's gonna have to undergo a lot more operations, but doctors are confident that he's gonna regain everything that he lost in his hand. So moving down to China, Peng Wing Wing, uh, probably saying that's so wrong, this 48 year old guy, he has been locked up in a cage for more than 40 years. Since he was six years old, he's been locked in his mom's apartment in this cage. This is because his parents feared that he's gonna hurt himself and he's just not gonna fit out there in society. And this is because he suffers from a series of health problems. When Peng was a baby, he suffered from a high fever which left him brain damaged. When he turned six years old, he suffered from severe epileptic fits. There is medical treatment that can get this guy better, but it's just way too expensive. His parents can't afford it, so this is just the best solution for him. As he grew bigger and bigger, so did his cage. His mother, Peng Wen Mi, who is now 80 years old and his father now dead, she's worried that no one's gonna take care of their son. Do you guys think that it's fair to actually lock up someone for 40 years just to protect them? Okay, so there's a quick update with the Fast and the Furious franchise. When Paul Walker died, it left producers in a hard position because there were still a few scenes that they had to film. So the question is, do they scrap production and all that money is gone? Or do they continue? So they decided to continue and they're using his younger brother, Cody Walker, who looks a lot like him to finish up the movie. He still hasn't given an answer to the producers whether or not he's going to take it on. But what do you guys think? Should he take the role? Okay, so moving on. Do you guys remember that fake sign language interpreter at the Nelson Mandela tribute? The towers above the rest is broken by the wind. Child of the wind, of the land. Child of dreams of a future where black and white, rich and poor, men, women, and children well, investigators finally figured out who the heck this guy was. He's 34-year-old Tem Sanka Jonti. Well, back in 2003, he was actually charged with murder. And in 1994, he was charged with rape. Whoa, how did this guy stand like next to two presidents? Security was a big fail that day. This guy stood right next to the American President Obama and right next to the African President Zuma. What if he decided to assassinate them or kidnap them? Because kidnapping, uh, that's also in his past as well. Dem Sanka explained that he's not a fake. What happened was when he was on stage, he was hearing all these voices and he saw an angel. So with all of these distractions, he wasn't able to give like the right signs. Investigators also found out that he's checked in and out of hospitals for mental health issues. Anyways, viewers, that was your Monday's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.